Hello everyone and I want to welcome you to Open Heavens Daily Devotional Review and I'm really excited to come in here. I hope you have been enjoying God in this series of the uh, message our Father and the Lord has been sharing with us particularly about our elders. Yesterday was an amazing session where he opened our eyes to the reason why we need to honor our elders. Today we are going to push a little deeper and i'm praying that you'll be blessed tremendously in the mighty name of jesus before we go further i want us to pray lord we thank you because your word is true thank you for the opportunity to reveal this open heavens we ask that the life in this world will come alive to us in the mighty name of jesus you will help us even to take the advice godly counsels of our elders in the mighty name of jesus thank you precious redeemer for in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen once again i want to welcome you to open heavens uh, daily devotional review today by god's grace we are looking at a topic that says elders are wise and our text is taken from the book of exodus chapter 18 verse 13 to 24 an interesting story in that place i want to read job chapter 12 verse 12 to you where is our memory verse for today job chapter 12 verse 12 and the bible says with the ancient is wisdom and in the length of days understanding with the ancient is wisdom and in the length of this understanding you know when i see a lot of young people today and the way they you know regard our elders they think they are slow they think they are uh, outdated they think they are old school and there is seemingly nothing advanced about them and they want to take into their own counsel you find such young people falling into so many errors in fact my conclusion has been that those set of people who have this that school of thought needs to go to the school of the elders to seek wisdom in fact particularly you know gen z's believe that they are very slow they believe elders are very slow in taking decision you know they are responsible for some of the things that are not working and all of that but the truth is that when you find elders around you are going to come into a rare kind of wisdom and that's what our father and the lord is exposing us to today that there are certain wisdom you get from the elders that google cannot give to you you know you can go search and all of that but the wisdom of a, particularly a godly elders can transform your life can i ask you have you identified the godly elders around you the kind of advice you have received have you taken time to ponder over it and see how it can change your life in the story that we read today in the book of uh of, um, of, of first king chapter 12 first king chapter 12 if you read verse 18 to 19 there was a king in that place called uh, Rehoboam who the elders counsel on how to lead the people but you know what he went to listen to his friend abandoned the counsel of the elder and that led that counsel from his friend led to a civil war and everything was chaotic he lost the kingdom by listening to someone else uh, uh, how much mistake or error have you fallen into because you have ignored the counsels of the elders you've ignored the counsel of your spiritual fathers because you think that they don't really understand what you are going through i've come to let you know that you are the one missing a lot because god has planted these people in your life yesterday we look at how to honor them when you honor them they will also let you know your blind areas to help you in your journey even as a believer to help you from where you are to the next place where god is taking you so we must know that god planted us planted them in our lives for a purpose if you take moses for an example moses why he was leading the israelites he thought he was doing well with his leadership but he came across the elders and the elder said if you continue to do everything you are going to die very soon because he doesn't understand the power of delegation and immediately yielded to the counsels of the elders appointed leaders by their tribes he was able to concentrate both on the spiritual aspect that god has given to him and he was able to achieve a lot what are you currently doing that you have ignored the counsels of the elder this is a time to take a u-turn i say to you again you must go to the school of the elders so that you can receive wisdom and as you take a new tone i pray that the lord will help you in the mighty name of jesus our father in the lord said today before we go he said write a list of godly elders that you have around you 
and start taking care of them and spending time with them from now you will learn a lot from them before they go and meet the lord you must become someone who we harness every opportunity to listen to those who are, are, are ahead of you your body says that no matter how much clothes you have you can't have rags like the elders what it means is they are long here before you and they can tell you even what the future will hold. as you begin to yield i pray the holy spirit we help you in the mighty name of you we help every one of us in the mighty name of jesus thank you for joining us today and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow god bless you